Todd Barton here and welcome to part two of my series on the Buchla 296E spectral processor. The first tutorial looked at using this as uh, 16 discrete bandpass filters uh, using levels A. Today we're going to look at morphing between filter A and B levels. Like the first tutorial, I'm going to use white noise coming into the odd you can go into odd or even, coming out of all and into a mixer. First, we'll set some A levels. Make sure display is on A levels and the morph knob is all the way counterclockwise to A. And we'll touch a few of these. For B levels, turn the morph knob to B change the display to B levels, and set some B levels. Now using the morph knob, we can change between B to A. And to see that, hit the display button, scroll to program. Further, we can use a control voltage to morph between the two. I have a slow cycling control voltage coming out of the 281E. With the morph knob all the way counterclockwise, we'll get even distribution between A and B, a rocking back and forth. As I turn the morph knob to the right, it'll be more preponderance towards B until I'm all the way to the right and all we hear is B. And of course we can change the tempo of that morphine. Like with our first tutorial, we can use other CVs out of the 281 to engage these VCAs. Another trick is to stack two big banana cables and have them come out of the blue CV of another 281 and take both of those and engage two different VCAs. Using that same patch, but changing the sound source gives us new timbres. Here's the white noise. But if I take that and come out of a twisted waveform generator with a more complex sound, such as this, and put it into the same patch, we get this. And of course, we can change all the parameters. Now going back to that basic simple patch, we started with white noise, but using the uh, more complex audio sound. We can use audio 
rate modulation by turning the morph knob all the way to B section. Take a low frequency out of the modulation oscillator and dial in the effect with the signal in modulation knob. And now I'm adjusting the modulation oscillator's speed. Thank you for joining me, and stay tuned for more episodes in this series on the Buchla 296E Spectral Processor.